the horrific pictures uh, of this uh, presentation that you have seen or will see are wonderful. If you listen to the music that's associated with it, the Angolan people have a wonderful soul. I was there in, 19, in 2007 and did a uh, documentary uh, for DW, a Canadian NG NGO, who was working in Angola for the last 26 years trying to help the people survive from the uh, civil war that ripped the country apart. I did a story about microfinance, which is a way to help build the Angolan people again and build their economy again. Uh, giving small amounts of money to uh, local folks so that they can get their own business going. Often many of them in, in Angola, as my film says, it costs two dollars for a bottle of water. All of the water is polluted in Angola, helped by Coca-Cola Corporation, presently exploiting the, the country. As you know, Coca-Cola uh, needs huge amounts of water uh, for the production of uh, the uh, soft drink and uh, at the same time pollutes enormous amounts of ground and water in its creation. What we need is a new way to look at the world. Much of what we create in the world is uh, polluting the world and uh, destroying the very um, basic needs that people must have to survive. And uh, globalization is another form of colonialism which the Angolan people suffered under the Salazar regime in Portugal, which was the uh, colonial na nation running Angola uh, in the 60s. What we need now is a new look at industry throughout the world, what we're doing to the world. Uh, climate change, global warming are a result of uh, economic forces out of control the United States creating endless military adventure um, to secure its energy needs rather than a conservative system in place. Angola needs a conservative system. The United States needs a conservative system. The world needs a conservative system. And we must address the climate change, global warming issue, the destruction of the oceans, water, and uh, industrial production that has a light footprint on the earth. All of this is a war is a discussion of essentially um, basic needs and basic resources being extracted from a country for the another country's gain. And this must end. We must have a global economy that looks at the world as a place to live for all people and environmentally sound and sustainable for all people. That's what the world needs. War is an offshoot of the inability of people to recognize the true needs of humanity and addressing those needs correctly. So I hope you have an opportunity to look at the Kishi Credito film in Angola, which is also a discussion of Angola and the result of all of those results of a shattered economy caused by a war for natural resources to be used by either side for its own ends. Good film. It's shocking, but it's worth seeing.